How do you start taking notes on a new subject? Having recently reread How to Take Smart Notes by Zenke Ahrens, I'm eager to embed Zettelkasten into my note taking workflow. One thing that I'm struggling with is getting started with a new subject. When I already have a couple of permanent notes on a subject in my Zettelkasten, it feels more natural to extend those to add additional questions, additional point of views, ideas, and so on. But when there's a new subject, a completely new topic that I haven't researched before, how do I get started? In this video, I want to share with you my recent experience in getting started with a new subject, doing some initial research and creating my first couple of permanent notes in my Zettelkasten system. This is my process in a nutshell. I start by writing down my research question and because I believe that unless I'm able to articulate my question well, it's unlikely that I'm going to find answers that really answer my problem. I like to play with multiple versions of the question. When I'm happy with the question, I look at my overview notes in my Zettelkasten system to see where the question might fit. If I find a place where it fits, great. I add the question to the overview note. If not, then I add my question to the 12 favorite problems. I create my question note and I start my research. So let me show you how my question note looks like. So this is my question note. This is the question that I'm researching. What basic rules should I follow when choosing my color palette for note taking and sketching in general? You can see that I've already created some sections here. So at the top, I have a place for my permanent notes and below them, I have a place for my research. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second. I've placed this question under my visual thinking frameworks overview note, which is a child of the 12 favorite problems. So visual thinking frameworks is right at the top of my Zettelkasten hierarchy. Getting back to the process, I start my research, which means I look at my own notes as well as I look at books and blogs and YouTube and podcasts and what have you. And when I find something interesting, I take literature notes. I make sure that I add a good succinct summary to each of my literature notes and I include those summaries in my question note. So this is what you can see here that I have a couple of different literature notes mentioned here and for each of them I have the summary included. If I open the literature note itself then you can see that here's my source, this is the summary section and then I have more detailed notes in that document that I'm referencing. I like to collect these summary notes on my question note because this gives me an overview of the area. This is a new research question. I'm not familiar with the topic. I like to see my different findings on a single page so I can read through them and make sense of them. Also, note that I'm placing my literature notes in their designated locations. I have a sources folder in my vault. So this is my vault. You can see I have different areas in my vault. I have my area for Zettelkasten, which has my overview notes and my permanent notes. I have my area for meeting notes and projects, as well as my daily notes, plus the sources. And under sources, I have a separate folder for books, for blogs, for YouTube, for tweets, for quotes, for learning materials, etc. And whenever I read a book or a blog or watch something on YouTube and I take notes, I place that note right here, but I take the summary section of this note and I embed it into my question note. And that's what I showed you just a second ago. When I reach a point that I've collected sufficient amount of literature notes and summaries that I understand the topic at least to be able to articulate some permanent notes for myself, I start writing permanent notes. In this case, you can see 
that I've created four permanent notes already. One is about using the red, yellow, blue wheel instead of the RGB, red, green, blue wheel, when looking for colors, because color theory works with the red, yellow, blue wheel and not the RGB wheel. And you have the other permanent notes listed here as well. When I place permanent notes, I place them under my question note and I place them in a horizontal hierarchy. I like to keep it this way until I have 10, 20 notes because I need to understand the topic. I need to learn the area before I can really start to talk about lines of thought, links between various permanent notes. I start out with building this flat structure. And from here on, I find that the process becomes business as usual. I now have a place for this type of information whenever I read something about colors or I watch something on YouTube or I see a tweet on the topic. I know where I can register my thoughts about it. With this, I have a process to kickstart a new topic in my Zettelkasten and from then on, the research will happen in the everyday as I read and consume stuff. So this is my process in a nutshell, pretty simple. I find that this process removes much of the friction in adding new topics and extending my Zettelkasten system. I hope you found this short video helpful and please in the comments, let me know how you deal with new topics. How do you add them to your Zettelkasten? Thank you.